Shalom, Shalom. I want to start off by saying, Call Halal Lai Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's Hebrew, which means all praises to Yahweh, the Father, in the name of the Son, Yahweh Shai. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. All right, I'm the Brother Ties of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And, um, you know, I just got a quick lesson that, uh, you know, I, I read through the spirit, you know, and it deals with boxing, you know, um, Elder Apostle Tahar, you know, he even pulled out, you know, from time, you know, the spirit, you know, which deals with the sport of boxing, because with the sport of boxing, you know, it takes hard work and dedication. It takes it takes endurance. It takes spirit. All right. You know, it takes you to be a soldier, a warrior, you know, so you kind of. You know, it kind of go hand in hand with the with the spirit, you know, with uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and his word and the way in the ways that how we have to fight. We have to persevere through adversity, you know, and you got to work hard, you know. And um, this big fight that just happened, which was a huge upset, huge upset. Right. And it deals with into Joshua and Andy Ruiz. OK. And um, I knew. um that Eddie Ruiz will win and why did I say that he will win because I knew it was just the spirit of the Lord because the Lord you know as we read previously in precepts you know with understanding the Lord is with the underdog you know the Lord is with the ones who you least expect and um I also came up with the idea that um through the spirit of power of Yahweh Shai in my meditation that we already have a uh you know Judah you know, which is the Southern Kingdom, okay, uh, as a heavyweight with a belt, and that's Deontay Wilder. And um, when this fight happened, uh, which was uh, Andy Ruiz, you know, was uh, basically a sub. You know, he was supposed to be fighting uh, Big Baby Miller, but he got tested for steroids in that matter, or whatever the case is. And now this fight came to him. Now, Andy Ruiz uh, represents Ishakar, all right, which in Hebrew means Yashakar. Yashakar, all right, which is he is higher, okay, and um, and um, you know, he's rep and basically who is Ishakar, the so called Mexicans, all right, so you know, he's a Mexican and he's one of those guys that uh, you know, pack a big punch, very quick hands, but the body that he's in, all right, the body that he has is not a body that's pleasant to the eye. And uh, what really made me do this video, of course, through the spirit and power of the Lord, but it was through, I was listening to radio ESPN. I saw also a couple of YouTube videos um, on, in a couple of tweets where, you know, everyone, you know, he won, he upset Joshua, he knocked him down four times, you know, and um, everyone expected Joshua to win because he's undefeated, he's bigger, he's stronger. And the main thing, you know, most of these commentators in sport are dealing with ESPN. They're not really boxing heads, so they don't really know that skills win. You know, uh, what they say, um, styles make fights. All right. And they just basically went off of that Anthony Joshua, because it's his model, they call him a machine. You know, he has the physique, as you see in the picture here. He has the, the muscles. He has the perfect body. He has the height. He's basically... He, He's, he's basically a creative player, you know, one of the perfect creative players you can have on fight night, you know, 6'6", six, six, long arm reach, power, speed, you know, but when he fought in this fight against Randy Ruiz, right, it showed that the outward appearance does not matter or does not defeat the inward part of man. You know, and that's scripture because the Lord said he looked within the inward part of man. It's not what's on the outside that matters. It's on it's, it's really what matters is what's in the inside. All right. And um, when you watch radio ESPN, they was basically, you know, he, he's a new champ. You know, he's the champ. He upset Joshua and he beat him in good fashion, knocked him down four times. Joshua quit. You know, he didn't want to fight. And they laughed at they laughed at Randy, called him fat, chubby, 
you know and even after he won they still making mockery of of you know because he chubby he don't look like they, they said he was a. Uh, they said he was um a soccer he was a soccer dad you know basically a body of a, a, a soccer dad you know someone that don't never finish the job you know it was cracking jokes man and disrespecting them but here it is i saw it in a spiritual eye you know that this is northern man it's time for northern to rise man you know the elder apostle of rumlob just a few weeks ago maybe a week ago you know he was pushing and pushing a vibration out there that brothers you know the 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 gadites you know the rubenites north american and seminole indians need to wake up because you are hebrew israelites too so you northern tribes out there you latinos hispanics all right you got to wake up and i looked at this with a spiritual eye you know northern first mexican all right to be the champion of heavyweight boxing man he's the champ and he deserved it man he beat him fair and square you know he wasn't the one looking tired he wasn't the one gassed out and he's supposed to be the fat and chubby one man so i say all that to bring out some scriptures you know i hope that this lesson will be edifying i hope that you build and i hope to build upon your faith but i just wanted to bring out because what i saw through the spirit is it's not about the outward appearance all right it's not about this okay it's not about this it's not about the outward appearance man all right because even the most high can use this brother andy right here okay one that looking sloppy body fat but guess what he dropped him man he won the fight man he's a champion man heavyweight first mexican heavyweight champion man this was beautiful man all right so you know with that being said Look at this, man. I'm gonna flash some pictures across real quick. <laughs> you know, this is look, 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 look at that. <laughs> you know, you know, that's the yo. I see the Lord, man. You know, you might carnal mind to see carnal, the spirit see spirit, man. All right, and this is this is to me, northern, you know, on the rise, coming up, man. All right, coming up, man. You know, look at that. <laughs> he couldn't believe it, man. But he, hey, man, that's the spirit of the Lord, man. You know, look at this guy, Anthony Joshua, man. You know, Whew. he dropped that big man like that, man. <laughs> you know, but um, let me get some scriptures first. Let's get uh, First Samuel. Let's get um, First Samuel chapter 16 and 7 it says uh let's start at ooh, let's start at four and samuel did that which the lord spec and came to bethlehem all right samuel's the prophet and the elders of the town trembled at his coming and said comest thou peaceably because if you understood just if you and if you understand the scriptures the prophets all right are the mouthpiece of the most high and most of the time when the prophets spoke, you know, which was the Lord's word, the message, it was always based on, you know, what Israel doing that is wrong, what Israel doing that is wicked. You know, the Most High was going to bring judgment upon. So when Samuel would come into the town, the elders, they trembled because they thought they was in trouble with the Lord. All right. So they, they said, Samuel, comest thou peaceably? And he said, peaceably. And I came to sacrifice unto the Lord Yahweh, sanctify yourselves and come with me to the sacrifice. And he sacrificed Jesse the son, uh, and his sons and called them to the sacrifice. And it came to pass when they were come that they looked on Eliab and said, surely the Lord's anointing is before him. But the Lord Yahweh said unto Samuel. All right. So Eliab had a statue, you know. That looked at like what? One of the Lord's anointed. Because on an outward appearance, you, you may perceive you may perceive that this is one of the Lord's anointed. Just like today. You got men, all right, teaching false doctrines, teaching truth mixed with lies. All right. You know, not telling you that the RFID chip is the mark of the beast. All right. 
um, uh, you got guys teaching of, of, of uh, not, not the, the name of the Lord, which is Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. But instead, on the outward, what they look like, they got a lot of members. They got the gauntlets on. They got the, the, the biggest Passovers with all hundreds, thousands of people. You know? It's not about the outside, man. And it came to pass when they were come that they looked on Iliad and said, Surely the Lord's anointing is before him. But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord Yahweh seeth not as man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. And the heart is the mind, which goes back to the Hebrew word lab. All right. So the Lord is clearly telling you he don't look as man see. Because when we see someone, you say, gosh, he's huge. You know, you see, all right, you see a, a huge guy versus a short, chubby guy. Matter of fact, have it right here. All right. You see, you see a huge guy versus a, a short, chubby guy. And you would say that huge guy would destroy him, put him down with one punch. All right. Sort of like the story of David and Goliath. All right. This, 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 this boxing match was spiritual, man. All right. To me, this, 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 this uh, boxing match was very spiritual, man. And this represents Northern, man. All right. First, first uh, Mexican, all right, heavyweight champion, man. So let me get back to it. It says, but the Lord said unto Samuel, look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him for the Lord. Yahweh seeth not as man seeth for man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. And, you, and that's right, because when you look at these, uh, you look at uh, what's his name? Stephen A. Smith. And you got a, a lot of them guys that was I don't know their names, but on ESPN radio. They was cracking jokes all over Andy Ruaz, man. They was talking hella shit, man. They was dissing him, disrespecting this man. Disrespecting him, man. Even after he won. Even after he won the fight, man, and knocked Joshua down four times. All right? So the ref called it, and it was a TKO, man. You know, they was disrespecting him, man. Because why? They looked it on the outward appearance. Calling him fat, chubby, you know? But get a man his respect, man. He won. All right. It wasn't by a decision. He knocked this big guy down four times, man. And this guy is supposed to be Anthony Joshua, supposed to be a machine fighting against the, the other greats, Dante Wilder, Tyson Fury. You know? It don't seem like right now that it will be a good fight if he fight against Dante Wilder. Because we know the power that Dante Wilder holds, man. All right. And his fists, man. <laughs> you know, I know I'm talking boxing, but, you know, get the message, man. This is spiritual as well. All right. So let me get the next scripture. John 7. Let's go there. there go. John 7 and 24. It says, judge not according to appearance but judge righteous judgment and that's what happens with us okay when people judge us they don't judge they, they judging they judging according to the appearance you see it's not out there looking spliffy looking you know militant you see us with different garments on different colored garments you see the garments are rough sackcloth you know we're speaking uh not in the the sued language that you want to hear you know, and you you downplay us as if we're nobodies, but little do you know. All right, we are the true messages that Yahweh Bashunal Shai have sent. Those of the whole four elect teaching his word in season and out of season, man. So judge not according to appearance. You got people that would judge um celebrities and, and hold them at a high esteem because he's a celebrity. All right. Well, guess what? The men of the Lord, you know, we're not celebrities, but what it is. You supposed to judge what? It says, but judge righteous judgment, man. All right? But this world is not about righteous judgment. 
This world is wicked, man. And especially here in Babylon the Great, which is known as North America, man. This is a wicked world, man. All right? You uplift homosexuality. You uplift transsexuals, man. All right? Um, the brother sent me an article, the brother Chappal in the camp. He sent me an article with, with uh, what's his name? Uh, Biden. He said if, uh, what's it, he running for president for 2020. And he said that um, if he uh, get elected, he's going to make more laws for the LGBT. You know, because they still being discriminated. And that's his uh, way of winning votes. So they still, even though they pass laws for same-sex marriage here in America, in the 50 states, uh, Joe Biden, this man says that he's going to push and enforce more laws, all right? Because the LGBT community is receiving, uh, I mean, it's still being discriminated, man. All right, maybe that's an article I get into, you know, after this show. But the scriptures say, judge not according to appearance, but judge righteous judgment, man. All right, so they judged according to appearance when it came here. But truly, you know, man's going is of the Lord, man. You know, some people will say, well, what boxing got to do with the Bible? Hey, the most high make a man's uh, hands the war, man. You know, like he had David, man. These men are warriors, man. These men are trained professional fighters. All right. They have a skill and a talent, man. You better believe that if they win, and especially like a Floyd Mayweather undefeated, the Lord had a hand in that, man. The Lord has a hand in everything, man. All right. Right now, I'm talking about the boxing to bring out what? The spirit and the power of, of the word uh, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right, they judge the coin to appearance, man. You can't tell me this ain't biblical, man. Northern is on the rise, man. All right, northern is coming up. Look at it. Look, look, look what his uh his waistline says on his trunk. Destroyer. Who who's the destroyer? Yahweh Shai, man. All right. What did the Lord tell Ezekiel? Write the one stick. All right, and put the tribes on there, man. And that's the twelve tribes of Israel. We already have a you know a uh, 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 southern champion. Which is Judah, all right, which is Dante Wilder, you know. And now you got a northern champion, man. Heavyweight. All right. This is beautiful, man. And I and I was rooting for him. <laughs> you know? Look, man. <laughs> this is this is the this is beautiful, man. <laughs> Cause nobody expected Randy Ruiz to win, man. All right. I did. <laughs> And that's why the Lord allowed me to do this show now, man, because my the spiritual eye was on it, man. All right? It was on it. You know? Look at this, man. <laughs> it is beautiful, man. I'm sorry for the for you, you know, I know brothers probably uh, Anthony Joshua fans, but hey, it's the Lord. <laughs> look, at that. look at that smile. Look at this picture right here, man. <laughs> look at look at the brother. <laughs> Yo, yo, he earned it, man. He earned it, man. And this is how ultimately all of us of the whole four elect gonna have, man. All right, with with that, we're like, woo, like yeah, we did it, we made it, man. You know, those of the whole four elect, man. <laughs> and look, look how you see, look, man. <laughs> all right, let's get back to the scriptures, man. All right, just gotta get some fun with it, man. You know, um. Let's see what I got here. Okay, let's go to Psalms. <clears throat> All, right, let's see here. All right, this is Psalms uh, chapter 51. And um, let's start at uh, five, let's start at four, uh, three. For I, for I acknowledge my transgressions, Psalms 51 and 3. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only, have I sinned, and done this evil in thou sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was sharpened in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. All right, now verse 6, here's the point. Behold, thou desireth truth, in the inward parts and the hidden parts, thou shalt make me to know wisdom. All right. Now, what is the inward part? That's the spirit. All right. Your conscience, man. 
Okay? It says, thou that desire of truth, because the Lord desire of truth, man. He want to see the truth in you. You know? Esau doesn't have truth in him. He's the, he's the wicked, man. Everything about him is lying, man. Everything he does is about deception, man. So it says, behold, thou desire of the truth. Thou desire of truth in the inward parts. And in the hidden part, because what's the hidden part? Your conscience. Nobody knows what you're thinking about. You know? You could have an evil thought right next to a person, and that person would never knew you thought that way. But the Lord knows you think that way. You know, that reminds me of um Second Edges 16. You know, the Lord knows our thoughts. Alright? He he knows what man what man uh he knows your inventions. You know, he already knows what you're thinking about before you before you think it, man. All right, before you do it, he knows, man. He knows your intentions, man. It says, and in the hidden parts, thou shalt make me to know wisdom. All right. So it's all always about the inward part of you, man. This is why we speak on, you know, we say it in a, uh, you know, in our greeting when we uh, start our show, um, you know, those that's teaching the word in sincerity and truth, because it's all about sincerity. All right, sincerity, man. It's not about the outward appearance and trying to show out. You know, you had uh, Mac 10 with vote with Vo Hocab Malone talking shit, chasing clout. You know, talking about brothers are not studied, and that's why we that's why we tell uh, we tell uh, Edomites that they're gonna be destroyed, or we'll tell a Jake we're gonna be destroyed. I, he said, I don't know if uh, you're gonna be destroyed or not. We do know. All right, and that's why. Also, the Lord said, look, at least ye repent. All right. You know, trying to clout chase because he looking to be somebody, man. You know, you guys going to meet destruction, man. All right. The most high is for his elect, man. And I guarantee you that you, Mac 10, you ain't you from Detroit. All right. You, you, uh, you, you has been, man. All right. You, uh, uh, what's, what's this guy? He had uh, all these false doctrines he was coming up with. I, can, I know for sure you ain't the elect, man. All right? Because you ain't on the path of what the elect role is, man. All right? You know? And yes, we do hope that we pray. We don't know if we are, but we hope that we are. But you can also judge a man according to his works, man. Okay? You can judge a man by his fruits, man. Okay? The Lord gave us eyes to see. He gave us ears to hear. Meaning understanding, man. You know? You can't take away understanding because you don't have understanding. You want to strip brothers from their understanding with these uh with this type of ideology, you know, and your type of philosophy and your doctrine. And it ain't working against the elect. The scriptures say, can you deceive the very elect? Nah, man. We we got the truth. Our elders and apostles, all right, of Great Millstone, they got the truth, a hundred percent truth, man. And we're teaching the truth the right way. Okay? You know, we're not having debates and discussions with demons. You know, looking for views and likes. We're prophets. Prophets means to say before. We're going to tell you what it is. We're not debating you. Hey, Jeremiah 3.15 says, I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Come on, man. You know? But that's another video to get into. I saw that video too. I see it. But um, like it says, uh, Psalms 51 and 6, Behold, thou desireth truth in the inward parts, and in the end, and in the hidden part, thou shalt make me to know wisdom. All right. So it's about the inward part of man. All right. So let's get this other scripture. <clears throat> Excuse me for my drifting away. Just spirit. Uh, Lord's willingness lets me out of fire. All right. This is Joshua chapter 24. And I'm um, get straight to the point. This is verse 14. It says now there. Excuse me. Now, therefore, fear the Lord, Yahweh. All right. And serve him in sincerity and in truth. See, and I was just speaking about the sincerity, man. All right. Sincerity and truth. That's our cadence, man. That's our intro of our videos, man. All right. We give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles because they rule well. All right. Scriptures tell you, give double honors, man, to the elders, those that are before you. All right. That watch over our souls. And then we also give greetings and, and, and uh, salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring, man. And that's teaching the word in sincerity and truth. Because it's about the inward part of man. You being sincere. It's not about you showing out, man. 
You know, Yahweh Shai said he didn't take on any reputations. He didn't accept any uh, rewards from the blind, from the wicked. Okay? He just taught the word. And he told Peter, feed the sheep, which Peter was the head of the church. And so Peter was to pass that on to the rest of the men. You got to feed the sheep. Our job is to teach, man. All right? It says, um, excuse me, what was that? 14. It says, now therefore fear the Lord. And that's another thing a lot of men don't fear. They don't fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. It says, now therefore fear the Lord. And serve him in sincerity and in truth. And put away the gods which your father served on the other side of the flood and in Egypt. And serve ye the Lord Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. So, Jake, you know, you got to wake up, man. You got to serve these other gods in which they, they give you today, Jesus Christ. Really goes back to Serapis Christus, all right, or Cesare Borgia, man, the Borgia family, okay? That character that posed to be the Messiah of the scriptures, man. You got to come back into the true and living power. You got a lot of our people still to this, to this day. All right. That's that Dante Wilder. You know, to the, to this day, they, you know, you got Egyptology men, uh, Israelites into Egyptology, man. Still worshiping the gods of Egypt, which like it says here, and put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the flood and in Egypt. Right? And serve ye the Lord, man. You know? So it's all about sincerity and truth, man. All right, so let me get my last scripture here and I'm going to wrap this thing up. You know, hopefully I hit the point. I hope brothers were edified, you know, and build upon your faith toward the Lord, man. You know, because that's what this thing is truly about. So it's about us receiving salvation. You know, you get the message and then you build upon the message, man. But the message of the word, the word of the Lord, be in you you know our lord hope i pray he keeps it in me and helps me to endure all the way to the end to see salvation man because it's about salvation so this is titus chapter 2 and 7 in all things showing thyself a pattern of good works and doctrine showing uncorrupt uncorruptness gravity sincerity so it's all about sincerity man which goes into the inward part of man it's not about the outward appearance man you know, and that's why I wanted to shed his light upon this huge fight that just happened. You know, I'm pretty sure brothers probably couldn't watch it the Sabbath, you know, but, um, you know, the Sabbath is down, you know, it's going down. But, um, you know, brothers that be, you know, I'm driving, you know, you hear the radio, uh, ESPN, you can't help, but, you know, what's going on in the world, man. And um, so I got captured these pictures. I screenshotted them through Google and, um, you know. Randy Ruaz, man, who they least expect, man, Northern, Ishakar, all right, he is hired, man, okay, heavyweight champion of the world, man, beat Anthony Joshua, the machine, the undefeated, the fan favorite, all right, from UK, all right, sold out, this man, uh, I believe he sells out, well, I don't know now, but I believe he uh, he's he's uh, selling out more than Dante Wilder, man. And Dante Wilder, you know, that was the the perfect gladiator, you know, uh, match, man, for them, man. That that you know people want to see. But but everybody know the power that Dante Wilder has. So can jo can't, Joshua couldn't even stand up to Andy Ruiz, man. <laughs> this is the Lord's work, man. I'm sorry, man. All right, you know, and the reason what made me draw this to doing this also is like I said. It's because they keep down, down in the brother Andy Ruiz, man. They keep uh, slandering him, and because he don't look like a world champion, you know. But he knocked the world, the so-called world champion, down four times. It was a TKO, man. Referee stopped the fight. He he knocked the fight out of Anthony Joshua. He not only beat him, but he beat the fight out of him. That he ain't want to fight no more, man. You can't tell me this, man. You, you got to give him his props, man. You know, so, hey, one up on Northern, man, because the Northern King is on the rise, man. All right? Just as well as the Southern, Judas first, and all the rest of the tribes going to follow, man. You know, and sooner or later, the Lord going to be here, and we going to be together, man. You know? And truth. All right? Perfect in the Lord, man. You know?
You know, this is just, you know, Anthony Joshua, a good fighter. But I just wanted to point out the outward appearance, man. It's not about the outward appearance and how, how you how you look. It's about what you're teaching and as long as the truth. You know, it's not about trying to look pretty and get all the holes, man. That's going to come. You know, it's all about teaching the truth. It's not about having a deep, a deep camp, man. It's about teaching the truth. That's why these guys are doing rap videos, man. They want to be somebody, man. But instead, they're not living the truth. You know? Getting all the views, the likes, and they're receiving that constellation. But you you fruit out there that's truly watching in sincerity and you're looking to learn and grow in this truth, you see it, man. It's not about the outward appearance, man. All right? So I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Racha Kodash. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom.